tsunami as we are working inside in the state which is a mountainous part of the India Nagaland. Today we have invited our so important guests who have not the requirement of the new identity as he the contesting candidate of the Janta Dal United, one a party known for their ideology for the best principle and only for the dedicated to bring the new development in all the state, in all the assembly constituency. Now today we are inside in the district Woka, Woka from the assembly constituency number 39. Sanis. From here, the contesting candidates have his own profile, back profile. He, he, he was the Indian administrative officials as named Ramungo Lothali. We will ask the, some of the important questions from him that what is the condition, where is the Sanis constituency right now in the concern regard to the development and for the upliftment of the all community travels here of besides of these all the NPO government which is a regional party of the Nagaland, what in the power last from the 15 years and when he will be the MLA and will be the voice of the people here, when he will become the mouthpiece inside in the legislative assembly, then what would be the dream project, what you want to do for the development of the Sanis, this type of the very question we want to ask for me. Yes sir, you are most welcome for our program. First of all, we want to know from you that when you were the IS officer, where and in which department you were uh, posted there and you had did what remarkable project inside in that very constitution, in that very district, where from you were the IS officer, sir. First of all, I am Ramul Rotha, an IS officer, retired commission secretary, government of Nagaland. I joined as a uh, civil officer uh, way back 1981 then rose to the IS I got the IS throw induction I belong to 2001 batch then finally I attended the commission second and retired from service during July 2017 now in fact I have been assigned uh, various uh, duty in a various capacity in the states of Nagaland. So I served as an extra assistant commissioner, civil, uh, still civil, additional deputy commissioner, DC, in various places. I will just all the district I have already covered as an administrative officer. So we call it deputy commissioner. In other states, it's called collector. So I served in uh, the district as well as district ministry. So in different capacity, I served all over Nagaland in many places, and I have some contribution through my this uh, uh, initiatives. So, considering the uh, bonus of the people, uh, we have to work as per the prevailing situation of the particular area. The most important thing is streamlining of the government functioning. Wherever I posted. We have to streamline and we work for upliftment of the downtrodden people, <coughs> particularly. So I as I as a I serve in various departments in different capacities, like uh, irrigation department, excise, uh, food and civil supply, legal meteorology, and consumer protection. So I and then women uh, resource development. I have a streamline the Department of Women Resource Development. Women Resource Development, initially it was bifurcated from the Social Welfare Department but during 2003. But it has uh, no boundary, specific subject to deal. Therefore, uh, only during 2013, April, it has properly streamlined and we have been functioning there, the, the Department of Women Resource Development. Initially it is called uh, women development, but uh, through cabinet we have a uh, streamline and then the nomenclature of the development was named as <coughs> women resource development. And then I was posted as a finally I was posted as a uh, commission secretary, food and civil supply, legal meteorology and consumer protection. So what I have done, uh, uh, two thousand thirteen, NFS, National Food Security Act was uh, implemented all India. But when I joined as a commission secretary, 
of food and sewer supply. It, it has not been implemented in the state of Nagaland. Therefore, I initiated, we launched this uh, implementation of national food and security July, starting from July 2017 only. So the whole system of public distribution system was streamlined. Now we has, it has been changed as a, uh, the NFSS scheme, National Food Security Act schemes, PHA. Through that, uh, through that, the whole system of APL, PPL has been abolished. Now it has changed into PHA, Priority Household, where we cover uh, in the state of Dagenham, having 19 lakhs, uh, say approximately 80,000. But we cover, as per the guideline of the National Food Security Act, uh, we cover 14 lakhs, approximately 6,000 population at a scale of uh, 5 kg per person per, per month that we have been uh, issuing to the consumers, to the beneficiaries in the state. So we cover, as I said, 14 lakhs, uh, 6,000 population besides this uh, uh, AAY. So this has been streamlined. Now people are benefited. Otherwise, there was no system. So I am after the system. Every department, when you start, you start a system. I think there is a less corruption. There is a no uh, this uh, leakages, no pilferages like that. So I am satisfied myself with the implementation of finally food national food security act. The state is. Uh, Benefited the beneficiaries, the consumers are benefited. So, I am although I am a retired uh, and IS officer as a commission secretary, I am satisfied because food are reaching even in the extreme corner of the states. Right, known for the his dedication for the development and for the honesty, just parallel to the Janta Dal United Chief Minister of the Bihar, that is the Nitish Kumar, is also known for the same thing. So, that's why. Mr. Rosa is right now with the Janta Dal United. Sir, actually what had happened to you that you are right now in the election battlefield of the politics. What is your dream project which you want to bring out in your assembly constituency? Let's suppose that the people going to cast their vote only for the ex-IS officer, that is the Rosa, that is the you. So when you will be inside in the legislative assembly, what the projects you want to bring for the, your constituency? You see. As a, an IS officer, bureaucrat, it is only executive officer. But when you become uh, elected members, represent the constituency, you become the lawmakers. You you can uh, do many things broader than the executive. So I have interested <coughs> by becoming uh, MLA, electing me. I can help the people by framing uh, the certain policies for especially upliftment of the downtrodden people now as you have experienced the communication is very poor oh very 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 worst in the position that's you don't right. know that road is in the gadha right. or the gadha is in the road yeah because it is competitively i've been to various uh, uh, states in india as an observer during my service period but uh, if you compare the area of the constituency and the population it is a small constituency and also population is a there are sizable population, less population. So my intention is to become a lawmaker and lead the people, educate the people. And we can do many things provided that the visible potential, we explore the visible and potential areas. Because although it is a small constituency, it is a potential area. Provided we keep communication, we keep all facilities, drinking water, drinking water also, health, and, and one health of health that's right, that's right. also. I that's want right. in the concern to the education also, the residential education complex must be built right, by right, right. also. Right, right, right. It's all related to the this, uh, developmental activities. Education alone cannot cope. Because some places it, uh, it isn't accessible. So without providing communication, it is the opportunity will not create for the school going children. So ultimately they become backward. Now by providing uh, this uh, all sort of uh, facility, amenities, communication, automatically uh, the, the people will be, the living center will be uplifted. Uh, now my challenge is, it is uh, in absence of factory, industry and others, whatever uh, this uh, 
uh, the scope available within the constituency. I want to explore and then make use of the people. By inviting the sub yeah. multinational company for to install right. the factory right, inside. Right, yeah. Is that depending on the that does some yeah. also uh, employment yeah. also here for hydro the user. like uh, hydro. Hydroelectricity, uh, hydro electricity, and then uh, this uh, we have uh, started uh, this uh, rubber plantation. It is popular in our, in the state of the particularly in Mukha district and particularly in my constituency. You see, you see, we have a lot of rubber farms, so it is now very popular. At the same time, the government has started this uh, coffee plantation. I think uh, climatically it is favorable, so we have a lot of educated uh, unemployed. Now uh, we have to start for self reliance program, without which government cannot uh, always offer white color job. We cannot accommodate the mm -hmm. educated people. So we encourage the educated people to start self reliance <coughs> program or to just uh, right, right. manage their own business. That's right, that's right. So as I say, comparatively, the area is small, the population is less. I have fully confident that if I, I am uh, a minister or MLA, I can bring, I can facilitate them. I can also bring more uh, this benefit to the people. And I, I, my focus is especially the, the self-reliance program. Because uh, as you know, the area of the state is small, the constituency is small, and the function of government, uh, this uh, department's activities is less. With the available this uh, manpower, right. I think it is sufficient. Sure. Yeah. Actually, state government have not the much of the power to absorb all the unemployed youth. So the Janta Dal United contesting candidate have here the program to provide the some loan facilities when he will be in the power, when he will be the MLS for the, this constituency. He will just try to his best a lot for to give all the facilities to the constituency people. Sir, as it is a state Nagaland, so on the Nagaland state question is this. State level that sir, when and uh, how should be the program for the upliftment of the Nagas community and also the travels of the all communities of the tribal will? What should be the program for the upliftment of themselves? Because we have just roamed all in the 11 district, yeah. we are seeing that the uh, travels are not very good in the position. So, what should be the program to bring the some changes, revolutionary changes inside in their lives? Uh, you see, economic, economically, our people are still lagging behind. Now, with the hope, I have joined in the party. Nidish, I know, is a good leader. He can also, when we there is accessibility, becoming MLA or minister, there will be accessibility to the leader of the center. And it is, JTU is also in, in the India. Now we can, there will be accessibility, we can explain. Means you want to say that a donor ministry, development of North right. and region ministry will handle what the by the 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 some golden yeah. scheme for the constituency so, as well as the state. Because the project, it has to be a feasible project. Practically, it should be possible. It should not be duplicated or some artificial thing. So, depending on the feasibility, potentiality of the area, if we prepare the, this uh, project, DPR, definitely central government will help rescue us. Otherwise, the state itself, we are resourceless state. So, what do you think about the planning department of your state that <coughs> you also will create any problem? So, this will be an opportunity for me by becoming so a because government. Because you have already the experience. Yes, I have experience in the uh, function of the government. Now, only I require, my requirement is, uh, as I said, uh, as an MLA, we can formulate many policies. You will just pro uh, uh, prepare your proposal with your that's right, that's right, project right. report and that's right. just... Uh, Whatever it is, uh, whatever it is, as I said, uh, feasible. Because unfeasible thing, if we cannot talk about the unnecessary thing, but uh, we know the local condition, the situation. So according to the prevailing situation, the availability, resources, or uh, any scope that has to be open, definitely if we compare with the uh, the population of the area. I think there will be self-sufficient by certain certain projects. Right, thank you, sir. Yeah. Very thank good. You.
Well, in the last, we want to know that so what you want to be the appeal from the, your constituency people for the on the date of the 27th February yeah. when the poll will go and I as the ex IS officer will create also. What is your appeal from the voters of the whole Nagaland yeah. state, sir? You see, the, I mean, the most important thing is we have so many educated people. So my approach is if they elect me, I will see the problem of the unemployed person by creating certain uh, the policies. That is a self-reliance program. That is one. Also, uh, as, as an IRS officer, I have experience in the government functioning. It will not be a problem for me to, to, to speed up all policies of the government. So that way we can also streamline everything. Then it will be systematically implemented it will be a benefit to the people of the constituency. So my approach is, you, I am a selfless, self, uh, selfless person. If you elect me, definitely I'll give my service to the people. I will sacrifice my service to the people. I have no intention to become a rich man or I don't want to. No, already rich man. I am not a rich man as a mere government uh, servant. So with uh, available resources, I am just uh, starting my career as a politician. Now, if they make me, I, my challenge is, leave it to me. Any problem, you leave it to me. Whatever possible thing, I will help you. Uh, is the, I, hopefully, the developmental activities, particularly the road communication, you know, if we initiate and then submit the project or DPR, the central government will not also refuse us because it is a necessity. By developing a consensus, my consensus science has been consistent. It is the development of uh, one corner of the India. We don't consider China as a, as a, as a, a foreign country. But the, by developing my constituency, it will be a, a development of the corner, a corner of India. Therefore, my thinking is definitely if they make me, I mean, if they elect me, uh, whatever possible, I will extend all possible help to the people by, uh, the, 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 by formulating different type of uh, policy, which is applicable, uh, which is the, uh, yeah. Party uh, yeah. that is the Bharti Janta Party, and we are in the alliance for the Nagaland state, and we very clearly appeal to the voters that for to bring the some changes, revolutionary changes inside in the state regarding the youth, youth empowerment, like right. women empowerment, like the uh, farmers upliftment, and as well as the regard in concern to the development of the Nagas, Nagaland peoples, the Nagas community of all the community here only the now. The, this is the option for the people to cast their vote for the Janta Dal United here inside in the Sainis constituency and as well as to cast their vote for the alliance of the BJP here in the state. This is the appeal from the him and now the program Tsunami Tsunami also get up the clearly pointed what is the things going on inside in the Senate and why Mr. Romangolotha is going to become the mouthpiece and the voice of the local people so with the camera person Sri Hari Narayan Singh, a special news correspondent Raji Kumar Patel, Senate, Woka, Nagaland, Nimanu News. Thank you sir, you have given your time for this. Thank you sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.